Today we're going to try two of Hiroshima's most famous foods, Hiroshima style okonomiyaki and spicy dipping ramen or tsukemen. First up, okonomiyaki. Oh my gosh, the chef has popped the okonomiyaki in front of us and it looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to get into it because I don't want it to get cold and then we'll talk more about the origins of the dish and what it's made up of. If you can, try and get a seat at the counter at an Okonomiyaki restaurant so you can see all the action in front of you and you can eat directly off the main grill. So you're given a spatula and you basically carve up the Okonomiyaki into squares and eat it like that. And you eat it with the spatula. Oh wow, that is so good. So Okonomiyaki directly translates to, as you like it, grilled. And it was a dish that was born out of the war. So after the bomb was hit in Hiroshima, all the restaurants in the city were flattened. And so people became makeshift chefs they put grills out on the side of the street and created this dish from whatever scraps that they had and it evolved into basically one of Hiroshima's most beloved dishes or Japan's most beloved dishes it's the ultimate comfort food it's made up of a mixture of cabbage noodles bean sprouts and it varies from restaurant to restaurant this one has got tempura crisps as well a spring onion, pork. I've added a shrimp and squid to mine. And then they drizzle it with this sticky, sweet, beautiful okonomiyaki, um, okonomiyaki sauce, which tastes a bit like a sweetened Worcestershire sauce. And then I've added mayo to mine. Oh, it is just. Hubum. Mm. There's also a load of cabbage in there as well, which makes it really nice and light. And the noodles have a lot of bite. Oh, and that sauce, it is, I cannot tell you, it is incredible. I've gone with a really simple, the simple version, but I did add shrimp and Japanese rice cake, which I think is pretty interesting. Like, how could that not look good? Although when it's cooking, it's really interesting because it doesn't look that good. It's kind of insipid looking. It's not in a bad way. It's a bad word, but I don't think in a bad way, but it's not very like bursting with color or anything. It's quite dull looking on the grill. Once they add that sweet sauce, oh my god, it just takes on a life of its own. And then you add the mayonnaise on top and things just, just skyrocket in their beauty. Oh wow. It's like, I'm covered in it, aren't I? I think I'm covered in it. There's like chewiness from the rice cake and this really sort of ricey edge underneath. The noodles are quite bouncy still, so they're really nice on the mouth. There's like freshness but crunch from the cabbage. The mayo coats your mouth. Then there's a sweet sauce. It's really quite sweet, which I think that's all over my face right now, but there's no tissues, so I'll stick with it. That is an incredible dish, and it's so fun sitting here at the grill, watching it being prepared. And then you just get to dig in with your little spatula. This is so fun. I talk about it being a Hiroshima style okonomiyaki, not just because we're in Hiroshima eating it, but because Hiroshima style okonomiyaki is layered, so they layer the ingredients as they cook it. Okonomiyaki is also really, really popular in Osaka, and there they mix all the ingredients together before they put it on the grill. So that's why it's called Hiroshima style okonomiyaki. 
was Teka, a neighborhood okonomiyaki restaurant in Hiroshima and it was fantastic, highly recommended. If you're hungry, that's what you should be eating because I am stuffed. I'm <laughs> dying. <laughs> it was amazing though, such an experience and so tasty. We are going to have a lie down after that because <laughs> extreme levels of fullness but so happy for it, not in a bad way, in such a good way. That was incredible. Mm. We're going to go back, do some work and we'll pick this up at dinner time. We're at Bakudanya to try Hiroshima's um, famous spicy tsukemen and tsukemen is dipping ramen. I have ordered the cold tsukemen so the dipping sauce is cold, cold noodles, cabbage, spring onion, cucumber, pork. I've only ever had tsukemen twice so here goes. Oh, look at that spicy dipping sauce that's coated the noodles. Mmm, the sauce was made up of chili oil, sesame oil, and I don't know what else, but it's really good. And on the menu, you can choose the spiciness level, so you can go from 1 to 100. I've only gone up to 12, and it's pretty perfect for me. This is really good. It's really fresh, it's really light, and it's perfect while it being hot outside to have cold noodles. It's so good. I ordered the hot version and I've never had this style of ramen so I'm super excited. So mine has like some fungi, some I think um, some spring onions on top and some pork, egg and the noodles. I'm just going to dive straight in. I think it's bamboo. Bamboo? Oh yeah it is too. Oh yeah, bamboo. Good spotting. <laughs> I'm going to dive straight in and try the noodles. There's a broth pot as well. Yeah, the broth's hot as well. So this is just noodles and broth. Wow, the coating's amazing, but not as clingy as Sheena's was. It's like left a finer film on the on the noodle. The spice is so perfect. I went on the spice level 10. It's a little bit less than Sheena. The sesame seeds are really strong tasting in that and the sesame oil. Such a strong flavour I guess, but I love that sesame oil flavour. It's amazing. That's so different to a ramen when it's in a broth. That dipping style, so they've got this stunning coating on the noodles. Wow, this is like a real revelation. What an awesome, awesome dish. But after that first mouthful I've realised I'm going to get messy. I found some bibs. I'm gonna pop a bib on for the uh, for the rest of my eating this evening. Okay, I'm gonna try the pork. Look at that, this beautiful thin piece of pork. Must be pork belly, it's being slow cooked because it's like pull apart tender. Oh wow. It's almost sweet. It's like eating a lolly. That is beautiful. This is such a cool combo. Hey, didn't I have two eggs before? Oh, maybe that was a picture on the menu. <laughs> I thought I'd lost an egg. <laughs> that beautiful egg. It was a very, very exciting meal. I love it. Oh, it's really tasty. The flavour just builds and builds. And the heat in that <laughs> builds and builds. 12 I think was the perfect amount of spice. I can feel it really tingling on my tongue. And I'm loving the fresh crisp vegetables. It's great. And it's very lucky that you put that bib on. Thank God. <laughs> I've worn some sauce on my bib too, so great decision. One thing I'm finding with this style, I don't know if it's just here or if it's because we're filming a bit, so I was a bit slow in starting to eat my hot noodles. They're all kind of clumping together. So when I try and pick some up, I pick them all up and I really have to fight to separate them out. But it's probably just because we were filming for quite a long time and so the, the 
hot noodles kind of stuck together. Oh, and exciting times, I found my second half of my egg. It was hiding under my noodles because the egg and ramen for me is like, it's not ramen without that egg. And it is so, so good. Look at it. You can just see it breaking apart from me holding it. Perfectly cooked. The egg is so special in ramen. And these bamboo shoots are really nice. They're really crunchy. Often I find that bamboo shoots like this can be just a bit soft and a bit flavorless. But we've got a really good bit of bite. It's really nice. It was really good. I'm loving it. That was great getting to try two of Hiroshima's most famous dishes, okonomiyaki and tsukemen, spicy style. So much good food here. It's such a cool place to come to eat. These are some amazing history, well, I wouldn't say amazing, but there's so much history here to, that you have to come here for. See our last video all about that. But stay a bit longer. Eat some of the food. It's incredible. It is very, very good. We're hoping that we will be able to tick off more of Hiroshima's famous dishes in our upcoming vlog. So remember to subscribe so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. We hope we've inspired you to eat and explore like a traveller, not a tourist. Sayonara. Sayonara! Oh wait, oh. that ramen or more like traditional soup ramen? Ah. What do you What do you think? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to say a more traditional style ramen, so hot, in a bowl for me, slurping it up, it's unbeatable. I agree, so like the more traditional style for me too, but I would definitely have that again and I loved it. Alrighty, sayonara! sayonara. <laughs>